it's like a mystery. You wonder why, why are they even created? For what purpose? Are you trying to annoy old Pharaoh? Their carcasses were everywhere and I was just disgusted, you know? And that's kind of, as a kid, that's what you remember. Pandora let them out of her box a long time ago, if you remember that story. Well, if you think about it, they are larger than life. You know, they emerge from nothing. They come from, from quiet, and suddenly they are the dominant sound in the soundscape. They predated humans. They persisted and have stayed here for millions of years. Look at your social unrest across the country. It could be a sign of something drastic to come. I believe it could be. When I was small, everybody, you know, heard these things about these things. We hear them and wonder what it was and running around. And uh, mom told me that they were Pharaoh bugs. She said, well, that's one of the plagues that God put on the Egyptian people. And it is, it's one of the plagues, one of the 10 plagues. I've always been fascinated by nature, how everything revolves around it. So the earth we came, the earth we shall return. I, I don't know whether they know where they're going or not, but they do the retreat process every 17 years, you know. They're doing something right, I guess. They're a creature of Earth just like I am. They don't fear, you know, and people do. My license plate says bug hunt. So I always have to explain that I'm not a computer scientist. I'm a bug geek or bug nerd. Right now in the background is thousands, tens of thousands of cicadas all chorusing. So these are all males that are calling for the females. That spaceship landing in that science fiction movie. I just feel excited, you know, to, to hear this, you know, overwhelming population of, of insects making this dramatic sound and knowing that uh, it's just here for a short time and then it's going to disappear again for, for years. Several inches down in the soil, it's a life of darkness and they come up into a, a day like today and it's bright and sunny. The cicada is incredible, the ones that are going to be born today. They're going to spend the next 17 years being kids, creeping around the ground, sipping on root tips. The periodical cicadas, or the 17-year cicadas, are they're unique to eastern North America, so there's really nothing else like it in the world. Right now, I'm thinning peaches, but I'm also killing cicadas every time I see one. <laughs> if they wanted to come out and eat the fruit, that's fine. I give them a little fruit, but they don't want to eat the fruit. They just come out and destroy the trees by splitting the bark and laying their eggs. People ask, what's the purpose of another species? And we always want to make it relative to ourselves, right? But it's, if it wants to be relative to us, it's to amaze us that, you know, there's something that trusts that 17 years later, there's going to have a world to emerge to. The question was asked one time, why did God create us? Why is human beings created? He took me and you and a little bit of dirt, and we became a living soul. That's kind of like, I don't understand why God made a stink bug. You could probably ask Doug Pfeiffer what the purpose of a cicada is, and he could probably tell you that part. <laughs> well, the destiny of a cicada is to mate and make more cicadas. T E M V T E D T E M T E D. I was tempted. Ooh, ooh, tempted.
As human beings, we have lost the stories of the natural world and sort of this disembodied sense that it's always going to be there for us. We don't want to lose them. It's just marvelous. It's this sort of sense of hope and trust that the world is still going to be the world in 17 years. It's amazing to experience it, you know, that they, they're out and active and audible for such a short period of time and then disappear. They got their place. Maybe that's music they're playing. Maybe that's music we'll hear one day. <laughs> Who knows, <laughs> right? Still, it's a mystery. You know, sometimes God reveals mysteries to us. And I'm just praying, Lord, that you will reveal to us what this thing is all about. Hello, little cicada. Welcome to the world. If you find yourself coming out near an orchard or vineyard, keep your head down and better fly in a different direction. Mr. Cicada, like I said, go on and get out of this orchard. Just stay out. Hey, cicada, it's good to see you again. I look forward to seeing you again in 2037. Thank you.